saw you I knew I had to holler You got big dollars Twenty twos on the Impala And you so sexy Never turn me on Can I get your name Age and your mobile phone You got an old man Nah how long you gon' chill at the mall? I'm waiting on my homeboy child. You got a homeboy? He just a homeboy. I think me and her need to go home, boy. Alright, cool. So you know what's going on there by the YouTube land, man. Hey, boy, fresh off this vacation. Still got my sea legs tied, as you know what. Um, uh, but Show got to go on. And I apologize if it's been a while since I uploaded. We back, we back in rotation. Season. What season this is? I came on in 2020. So what this season five? Season five of the Goat Casey show uh, <laughs> is on and popping, man. So I apologize if it's been a, if it's been a while. But y'all know every year, bro, the last four months, y'all know it never fails. This is the worst time of the year for me. When it comes to content creating, because you got birthday season, that's a week of festivities. You got Halloween, that's a week of festivities, parties and, and events and all type of stuff popping up all over the place. You got Thanksgiving, that's another week of festivities. Then you got Christmas, that's another week of festivities. So you're talking out of 120 days in the last quarter of the year and, uh, you know, uh, 30 of those days is, is fest, festival activities. And then, you know, you, you got to take at least 20 days to recoup and recover from the combination of uh, festivities and work on top of each other. So that's like 50 days right there. I have zero time for content creating. Then on top of that, I got to be a father. And then I got to deal with, you know, my own little personal life, my own little females, my own little stuff like that. Does. So it's real hard for me to get any type of content out. But I try to do what I do. But I'm back on it. Even if I got to put something out like this, I'm back on it. Uh, but yeah, so it's it's hard season. I want to I wanna do something. I want to go to the game room tomorrow. I want to put out something big, like 40. Shout out to Super Mario, brother, Runder. I want to put out like 40 horror games. So I want you guys to drop in the comments, like what horror games you want me to speak on. Maybe I got them. I'm a, it's going to be over uh, 10, 10 different systems from the 3DS all the way to the PS5. I want to do a, a 40 collectible hard games edition so games that you might want to pick up for uh of uh numerous amount of systems so it's, it's gonna be big man we're gonna do it from the game room we're gonna go over the 40 games and uh chop it up like that though but uh here's one thing i want to talk about these haptic gun controllers man these things are awesome man i'm telling you bro uh I can't speak highly enough about them, man. They worth every little penny. It's about $114 for them, but man, it, uh, is they worth it. This, these and a B haptics vest. For me personally, this is what saved this generation. The Crest 3, these uh, B haptic guns and the haptic vest. The ninth generation itself is ass. Worst generation of all time. Harvard generation. None to really look forward to playing, but man, VR and the innovations in the VR industry has been keeping this, uh, been keeping this generation, you know, uh, very enjoyable for me. I can't speak on nobody else, but for me, but the PS5 and the Xbox One has been a, a horrible letdown. A horrible, one of the greatest letdowns ever in gaming history, if you was to ask uh, Professor Joe Casey. Uh, I got the retro shooters, too. I like the retro shooter light gun games. Uh, but the PC that it come with, that uh, that Raspberry Pi, whatever that crap is, that sh it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. One of the worst uh, PCs of all time. So, you know, you got to get the... I got to I gotta upgrade it some type of way. I'm thinking about buying a little mini PC and get one of them uh, Ken Hawks and seeing if those got better games, gun games I can put on it and uh, step it up a notch. Uh, shout out to the PSVR 2, though. They got the little haptic controllers. They got the little haptic things. 
but it don't got nothing on those haptic uh, guns that you can get off Amazon, man. Way better than the PlayStation VR 2. You get way better aim quality. And it'll take those Crest 3 games to the next level, to where you don't even want to play your PSVR 2. And I know with some Stony enthusiasts that's going to listen to this, they're going to be like, well, the PSVR 2 look 100 times better than the Crest 3 with the OLED. Bro, this, this is the problem with gaming right now. Everybody always talking about what looks better. How to make that's that's how Sony is ripping people off with the PS5. They they trying to sell you something that's gonna make your game look better that you don't even you can't even see it. They trying to sell you something that's invisible to the naked damn eye and charge you seven hundred dollars for the same damn console. This is how crazy gaming is getting, bro. It, it done got to that point where people are sell you something for uh seven hundred dollars based off of they done made it look better and it's the same shit you bought five years ago when the old games if you're old enough to remember gaming from the 90s and and you was able to understand why people had so much fun playing those games it was because it was the concepts of the game. It wasn't about the graphical fidelity of the game because we had something called imagination. We had something that was called imagination. And that's one thing I've been seeing a lot of game developers try to strip away from the audience of the people who play the games. They try to take away the, they they're trying to take away their imagination. I don't think they believe that consumers are smart enough to have imaginations in order to play the games the way that they want to play the games. This is why people like board games. People don't mind playing board games because they have something called imagination. When they slam down a card and the card has a specific action, it's like watching it play out in real life because they are smart enough to and indulge themselves and immerse themselves into the card game that they playing. So to them, it's no different than watching it play out on real screen. They don't need a eight K, a eight K uh, visual in order to enjoy the game that they playing. I'm, I'm trying not to lose y'all. I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying not to get too far off base. But I mean, if if you can understand what I'm saying, then you can understand what I'm saying. Like we was able to enjoy those Nintendo games. And with the same way that we're able to enjoy a PS5 game, and in some cases, the Nintendo game looked even better because our imagination was that much more developed back then. And now it's like they're stripping it away. So if the shit don't look like photorealistic now, people are like, oh, man, this shit, the, the graphics look hard. But like, no, no, you don't need photorealism in order to enjoy the way that the gameplay is orchestrated. These companies have got so lazy with the with the concept of the gaming that all they have to fall back on is the amount of frames and uh, the the uh, the resolution that they can put into you know whatever products they putting out because the the game concept the the loops like I'm trying to figure out the. the I don't I don't think I ever played a loop on the Super Nintendo game. And if I was playing the loop, I didn't even realize it was looping. Game looping wasn't even a a, a word in the 90s. It's a word now. Like, oh, how's the gameplay loop? How repetitive is the gameplay loop? That's that that like we we done embraced this the 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 uh what you call it? The content pattern to the point where we we don't even mind acknowledging the fact that it's a loop that they got us playing. This it's not just a straight through uh, all right, we're gonna see what this is, we're gonna see what that is. Nope. You watch this little part of the game, you come here, you do this. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Okay, we just gonna make you rinse and repeat for thirty to forty hours. Give us seventy dollars. But I'm all the way over here, man. I'm supposed to be all... What, what I was talking about? I came on here to talk about PSVR 2 and um, B-Haptic uh, pistols. Because this this how far back I am. I'm so backed up in talking to y'all. It's so, it's so much I've been wanting to come on here and say 
that I'm just all over the place now because I'm I'm just that biked up. Whatever, whatever, well, man. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Go Casey bike. Bike in the booth. Bike in the studio. We bike to put out this content. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put out the greatest horror list that's ever been released on YouTube. Uh, try to get that out to y'all tomorrow. Fresh from the studio. Uh, fresh from the the game room. And uh, we just gonna keep it rocking like that, man. If you made it this far, man, hit the like button. If you're glad, go Casey and return to YouTube. Hit the like button. And uh, if you're happy to see me, I'm happy to see y'all. Y'all be cool on your stool. Understanding I'm cooking with two peas in a pot. And then cooking at the stove ain't hot. I'll holler at you.